Right, you guys, got another video here for you on how you can turn an old laptop into a Chromebook for free. Now, quite a few people wanted to see this video, so I thought I'd make it. I bought this laptop and I'm going to show you how to turn it into a Chromebook. But first, let's have a word from today's sponsor, CD Key Sales. Now, CD Key Sales, if you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 Pro OEM key, then use the links in the video description. Use my promo code capital B capital R09. Apply this to your order. And then you can go over to the change product key on your Windows operating system, paste in that key and click next. And then it will activate your version of Windows 10 Pro or Windows 11 Pro. Links are in the video description. OK, so let's get back to installing Chrome OS onto an old laptop. You're going to need a USB flash drive, eight gigabytes or more to get this installed. So I'm going to go over to their website and show you some of the specifications. There is a minimum RAM requirement and there's also a minimum requirements for your hardware. You can see here on the list, RAM is going to be two gigabytes or greater storage, 16 gigabytes or more. And you can see here, we do have a BIOS with full administration access and there's a bunch of other stuff on there. I'll leave all the information and links in the video description so you can read this at your own leisure. And remember, this is still in early access, so you can have a look at it and install it and give it a try. Now, if we go over to uh, Chrome OS Flex Help, and you can see here, it gives you the information from preparing your installation all the way to installing it. So you can read through this. I'll leave the link in the video description for you. So this website gives you all the information on how to install it and set it all up and get up and running with it. You will need an account to log in uh, because obviously it's Chrome OS. We're going to click on this link and this is going to take us over to get our uh, Chromebook recovery utility. This is one way you can do it and uh, download this and add it to your browser. And then we can create our bootable USB flash drive with a uh, Chrome OS Flex on it. So let's go ahead and add this to your browser uh, by clicking on the add to Chrome. I'm using uh, Google Chrome here. And I'm going to add the extension and it should look something like this once you open it up so click on get started and this will take you to the next page now you can put in here chrome os or whatever it is you want to do but i'm going to be putting in uh, the maker model of my laptop and my one is a lenovo and it's the yoga 260 uh, version here so i think it's the 13 it comes under so we're going to go to lenovo here and this is the lenovo thinkpad 13 so i'm going to select continue and once we've done this we can move on to the next step so now we need to select our usb flash drive here so i'm going to select this one and then we can click continue and once this is all done it's going to say important all the data will be erased on that usb flash drive i'm going to click continue and this will now go ahead and create our recovery image on this usb flash drive all we need to do then is plug this into the laptop and boot to that usb flash drive so you can see here, success, your recovery media is ready to use. So now we can click on OK and move on over to the laptop and plug it in and then go into the BIOS and change the boot order. And I'm going to turn off secure boot just to make sure everything boots up OK and we get this to boot properly. So let's close this off and head over to the laptop. Now I could pick, so let's get into the BIOS here and I'm going to turn this off. Your BIOS may look something different. So I'm just going to turn off secure boot just in case there's any issues by disabling it and uh, may put legacy mode and UFO mode or put both of these on to see whether this works okay. So let's go ahead and make some changes here to the boot order. You can see the boot and you can also see UEFI legacy mode it says legacy only. I can put this on both if I want to. There we go. And CSM, yes. And basically what I'm going to do from here is select my USB flash drive in the boot order here and make it number one so we can boot to that USB flash drive. Now pick this laptop up for around about £90. It is a touchscreen and it is in pretty good nick. Uh, so you can pick these up pretty cheap. It's an i5-6300U, which is pretty good. And now we've booted up and you can see here, welcome to Chrome OS Flex. We can get started. And you can install Chrome OS Flex or you can try it first. I'm going to try it first because I want to make sure it's going to work OK because it does have a touch screen on here. So if you want to try it before you install, you can do or you can just go in and install it. I now need to connect to the network and this is Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go in here and click on the Wi-Fi and sign in with my details so I can then uh, get Wi-Fi connection. So once I've connected, you should see. Uh, who is using this Chromebook device, you, 
So I'm going to put this on there. And now you need to sign in to your Google account. So if you haven't got one, you can create one. And I'm going to sign in. And uh, you just need to select this and then select next here. Now, remember, we're trying this. We're not actually installing this as of yet. We're just giving it a test. And you can let Google know some information if you wish. I'm going to take that tick out and click accept and continue. And this will get a few things ready for us. And then, as you can see here, your Google Assistant is ready to help. So we're just going to go ahead and agree to this stuff and get this uh, up and running. So you're all set. And that's how quick and easy it is to get this installed. And to be honest with you, it was really super fast. It was a really enjoyable experience. I really do like this OS and uh, the picture quality isn't quite there because it was in the evening and I was just using the camera to show the display. But you can see here, we have a fully functional working laptop. Now, because this laptop doesn't meet the Windows 11 hardware requirements, it just means that you have a lifeline at the end of the life cycle of Windows 10. You can then install something like this to get this working on a laptop. And I should imagine by the time Windows 10 is finished, you can even install something like Chrome OS Flex or some sort of Linux distro. If you want to see some more installations on this little laptop, let me know in the comments section below what sort of Linux distros you want to see installed on here and how it performs with this touchscreen. And does the touchscreen even work with Linux or any other version? So I will test it out to see whether the touchscreen works here. Uh, but you can see everything is opening up really, really nice and snappy. And it does seem to work pretty well. So I could go ahead now and install this onto the laptop and use it. Now, remember, this is running off of that USB flash drive and it is still performing pretty fast. So theoretically, it should run even smoother once it's installed onto that NVMe drive because pages are loading up super fast. And I'm pretty impressed by the performance. It's pretty lightweight. And again, if you haven't got the money to spend on a really expensive laptop, you can pick up a cheap laptop and basically install an OS like this on it and get some use out of it, especially if you just surf the web, do some emails, maybe even watch some 4K content. This computer is completely capable because it does have an i5-6300U. It also has 8 gigs of uh, RAM an NVMe drive on here, and it's plenty capable, uh, 1920 by 1080p uh, screen resolution with an IPS panel, and this will play 4K content and look absolutely gorgeous when you're playing those movies as well. And you can turn it into a tablet or have it as a laptop. So check it out. There's some pretty good deals out there for these sort of laptops, and they still are serviceable in 2022. Now, I've seen a lot of people... Uh, run this down because it's owned by Google. But at the end of the day, it's going to give old laptops a new lease of life by just being able to install this onto the system. And basically, loads of people just need something that works. And you can see here the touchscreen even works. So it means that you can even use the touchscreen if you have a touchscreen laptop. Now, if you do your research and have a look around, you can pick these up pretty cheap. And uh, you just have to be patient and try to pick some of the nicer ones out there because there is some old workstations from offices that have been battered and bruised. So try to pick a nice looking one and you should get a pretty good deal. Like I said, I picked this up for around about £90 just for some content on YouTube and it is working pretty well. I'm pretty impressed with it. And because it's super small and lightweight, you can use this on holiday. You can take it away with you. It's not going to be such of a big deal if you lose it or break it because it only cost you £90, and it's still pretty good uh, to use in 2022. So I'm pretty impressed with it, and everything seems to work pretty well. Now, I'm interested to see whether Linux works pretty well on this and whether the touchscreen works and if we can get it all working on here. Uh, but if it doesn't uh, work the touchscreen, you can still use the laptop, but I would like to get the touchscreen working as well. So let me know in the comments section below if you are a Linux user and which distro I should try to see whether it works okay with this laptop. I'd be interested to find out how it works out with Linux. I'm pretty sure Ubuntu will work on this flawlessly, especially with that touchscreen. It will probably be possible to get that working on here. But give me some suggestions down in the comments section below. So anyway, that is the 
Google Chrome OS Flex, a pretty decent little operating system if you ask me, especially for something like this little laptop here. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. I just want to say a special shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. Your names are rolling up on the screen right now. It's your support that helps me buy projects like this so I can bring you content. So I really do appreciate it. I just want to say a special shout out to my tier three uh, YouTube members, Albert Houston, Mars Sierra, uh, Jedi Buddhist, Bill's Computer Repair, Geo Sam and Welsh Tony One. Anyway, have a lovely weekend and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye for now.